Hey guys, how you doing today? So Aaron O'Toole and the Conservatives have come out with their first election ad. Uh, the question I have had going into this ad was, what the heck are they gonna run on, right? They can't run on the success of neoliberal capitalism because it's been a complete and total failure for anyone. Uh, they can't run on the record of their provincial counterparts because that's been a disaster from the Kenny administration to the Ford administration to the Pallister administration. It's been a tale of total robbery of the pop populace and the pilfering of the public purse for uh, millionaires and billionaires. Further evidence of the failure of neoliberal capitalism. And they certainly can't run on helping anybody, right? So. What is it that they can run on, though? Oh, well, they can always run on white supremacy and fascism. Biological weapons can be divided into three groups. So right away they start by heightening your anxiety and your fear, right? You hear the ticking clock, you hear the single note piano, you hear these things flashing of imagery, of pandemic imagery, as well as the President uh, Xi Jinping, right? Uh, uh, all within uh, 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 an overtone of the phrase biological weapons. Give it a listen again. Biological weapons can be divided into three. Biological weapons can be divided into. So Joseph Goebbels, Nazi propagandist, said that if you tell a lie big enough, loud enough, people will begin to believe it. And the lie that Aaron O'Toole is putting forward in order to galvanize the populace to vote for him is that uh, the Trudeau liberals have conspired with the Chinese government in order to build biological weapons that they're going to inflict on the populace. This is a terrifying nightmare QAnon level conspiracy theory that Aaron O'Toole dives into uh, with glee. Let's go back to July 2019. Two scientists with ties to the Chinese military were escorted out of the Winnipeg Virus Laboratory. This is a level four laboratory that Canada uses to research some of the world's most deadly pathogens and viruses. How did two scientists with these ties get approval to work at this secret facility? How did they get approval to bring students from China with even more direct contact with the Chinese military to come help them with the research. To the non-xenophobes and non-racists in the conversation, the answer to these questions are obvious. Canada has been involved in a research project with China, among other nations, in order to share information to prevent future virus outbreaks. If you are a xenophobe and a racist, though, like O'Toole is, then you're supposed to be scared of scary China, who's obviously doing things that we don't like. This is a story about some of the world's most dangerous pathogens. This is a story about espionage. And this is a story about the Trudeau government being totally disconnected about the risks in the modern security environment. Let's talk about that. O'Toole lays the table perfectly for his crazed conspiracy here, using the tactic of Hermann Goring, a former Nazi, who said at The Hague that the way you control people is by telling them they're being attacked. Well, accusing China of forming biological weapons in order to destroy the world certainly fits that bill. CBC News has learned that months before being escorted out of Canada's highest security microbiology lab, federal scientist Jian Go Chu sent 30 vials of 15 different strains of Ebola and Hennepa virus to Wuhan, China. This clip is being used to heighten the terror, but is actually completely innocuous. This, again, was openly done, part of the research agreement that exists between Canada and China to research coronaviruses, to research all of these things. It's completely normal for rational adults to want to exchange information. Uh, there's no conspiracy here. This was done openly and in public for everyone to see.
We know that in 2018, they started bringing students, interns, with deep connections to the Chinese military from China to do work on this virus research. In 2019, they sent dangerous virus samples to a laboratory in China, the Wuhan Virus Laboratory. We know from public records, like patent documents, that the work being done by these scientists specifically was on gain of function for viruses. That's where they're actually trying to improve the efficacy of a virus, its transmissibility, and in some cases, in bioweapons research, its deadliness. Now, who authorized transfers of dangerous, deadly viruses? Who authorized this high level of cooperation and collaboration with the Chinese military? CSIS told Mr. Trudeau not to do it. He was advised that this type of partnership, because of the risk of bioweapons research, should not be taking place. The Trudeau government ignored those warnings. Now we have the global inquiry onto the origins of the worst pandemic in modern history are all looking at Wuhan. This is the most overt that O'Toole gets, where he accuses China outright of biological terrorism uh, in this hysterical uh, conspiracy that he is doing specifically so that he can scare people into voting for him using tactics put forward by literal Nazis, right? And here is where O'Toole reveals how extremely desperate he is to attempt to get you to believe his crazed QAnon conspiracy theory. There's, there's a chance that this was created in a lab, there's an investigation. A chance? Here, I there's don't know. There's a novel respiratory coronavirus overtaking Wuhan, China. Oh, you know who we could ask? The Wuhan novel respiratory coronavirus lab. The disease is the same name as the lab. Using a retired comedian as your source instead of uh, military personnel, an expert, a scientist, a doctor, literally anybody with any credentials whatsoever, an ambassador, literally anybody, is the height of desperation. Doubly so because Stewart is wrong about the name of the institution. The name of the institution is the Wuhan Virology Institute. It has uh, research agreements uh, between Canada, uh, the University of Texas in the United States, France, and Australia. It is a world-renowned facility uh, that studies coronavirus outbreaks, such as the SARS epidemic that occurred throughout China. Uh, the implication that this is a lab leak in the face of any evidence or anything suggesting that that actually occurred is, again, another one of these QAnon conspiracies that uh, O'Toole is hoping you'll bite down on, because you must be like him, a racist, right? Now we know the two aren't related with the viruses we sent, but we were collaborating with a laboratory that is now being looked at by the Biden administration and many of our allies. Remember, at a time where we have the two Michaels in prison, we see a genocide being committed against the Uyghur Muslim population. We see the situation in Hong Kong. Gotta throw in the two Michaels and the Uyghur genocide lies, right? Like, just keep telling the lies and they become truths, right? That's classic Nazi propaganda strategy, which Aaron O'Toole is using here. Uh, I'm not going to go into the debunk of those two events on this particular video, as I've done it on previous videos, uh, and there's plenty of information. The long and short is that the CIA exists, you guys. They tried. They convinced us of WMDs. They convinced us of the lie of the Naira testimony. Why are we suddenly believing the CIA when it comes to this gigantic, large-scale lie that UN delegates are coming out of and saying, no, there's no Uyghur genocide going on here. Why are we believing this? Uh, Aaron O'Toole wants you to believe it so that you will use your xenophobia and racism to vote for him so that he can inflict the misery that he intends to inflict on the populace. The Trudeau government partnering in virology research between our top laboratory and the laboratory in Wuhan. Like the laboratories in France, like the laboratories in Texas, like the laboratories in Australia. Aaron O'Toole doesn't want you to know about any of that because Aaron O'Toole is banking on your racism and xenophobia.
Canada is already seen as a weak ally in the Five Eyes on Huawei. We're already seen as not doing our part in NATO. We're already not trusted by the Americans when it comes to trade, when it comes to technology transfer with state-owned enterprises from China. We're supposed to be kowtowing to America now? That's what Aaron O'Toole is saying. That we, sh that we should kowtow to America, that the Liberals haven't been doing a good enough job kowtowing to the American Empire. Uh, why do we want a leader who's just so willing to bow his head to the American Empire? Why do we want to vote for a guy who, whose major complaint about the current administration is that they're not subservient enough to warmongering, destroying psychopaths? The Trudeau government is doing anything it can to cover this up. They're in contempt of Parliament. They've thrown a leading lifetime civil servant under the bus for the first time in a century. An order of Parliament for the first time completely disregarded by Justin Trudeau and in the process hiding the truth from Canadians about what partnership was being done in the Winnipeg lab by scientists with deep connections to the Chinese military. All of this is just political mudslinging, right, and political engineering. Uh, the Trudeau administration didn't want to give highly sensitive documents to the public sector. Listen to what O'Toole is actually saying here. He's genuinely trying to convince you that it's rational to think that uh, China is involved in a bioweapons program to destroy people and they're in an alliance with the Trudeau administration in order uh, to create these bioweapons, and it's bad that Trudeau only gave the documents to his own in intelligence personnel, uh, of which conservatives sit on the panel of, uh, and it's bad that high-level bioweapons uh, information isn't being distributed openly and in the public. This is what Aaron O'Toole is saying. So much for security. I guess the O'Toole administration would just release bioweapons information into the public with no redactions, right? Canadians deserve answers. They deserve an end to the cover-ups. But most importantly, Canadians deserve a government that will always put our public safety, always put the national interest and well-being of Canadians first. Ah, oh, yeah, Canada first. Sound familiar? Canada first? Uh, Canada First is also the name of a fully operational fascist white supremacist group. They have an online discord that was recently investigated uh, where they celebrate the murder of Jews, where they celebrate the uh, uh, open murder of First Nations people, where they plan and organize in order to infiltrate the Conservative Party as well as the People's uh, Party of Canada. Uh, they are a far-right neo-fascist group, and for uh, uh, Aaron O'Toole to actually say the words, especially in a post-Trump era, Canada first, or Canadians first, he knows what he's doing, he knows who he's talking to, there's a reason he says this. Conservatives will get to the root of this corruption, we will stand up on the world stage, and we will be accountable to you. Canadians deserve better, and only the Conservatives have a plan to secure our future. Securing our future because you are under attack by Chinese bioweapons that the Trudeau government is covering up. This is Aaron O'Toole's legitimate message. He is attempting to say and convince all of us that we are under attack by Chinese bioweapons that are being covered up by the Trudeau administration, and only the Conservatives can give the security Canadians need to be protected from, again, I'll say it, a bioweapons program for which there is no evidence, nobody has ever found any evidence of a Chinese bioweapons program that is being covered up by the Trudeau administration. This is high-level delusionary QAnon-level conspiracy theory being presented to us with all the tactics of Goebbels and Goring and Adolf Hitler himself in order to convince a gullible, deluded group of people as well as an active group 
of white supremacists to vote conservative in order to maintain the power of capital. That fundamentally what this is proving and what Aaron O'Toole is illustrating perfectly is that when capital is threatened, it will regress into fascism. That to protect its own interests and to keep the populace from moving forward into socialism or communism or to do anything that actually helps the populace in large-scale ways, it will uh, cater to the fascists, white supremacists, racists, and xenophobes in the society in order to seize power and then guess what they'll do. We already have attacks happening on the Canadian Asian population here in Canada. We already know that the white supremacists are pushing back against our brothers and sisters here in Canada uh, because of this high-level rhetoric and these lies that are being spewed about China. We should not tolerate this. We certainly shouldn't elect this fellow. And I am to a point now where I am completely willing to say, if you are voting conservative, you are voting for evil. Maybe not. Maybe don't do that. All right, guys, this is the end of this video. Given the forces that we're fighting against, uh, you are doing very well. You're making good decisions. You're fighting back. You're making good decisions for the, yourself and the people around you. Always remember, first, like, share, and subscribe. If you like this content, like, share, subscribe. I've got my Patreon down below. Please think even a dollar helps. Even a dollar helps. I live stream 6 to 9 p.m. every weekday. Please come on in. You are a divine being standing on divine energy. These guys spend billions of dollars to gaslight you and convince you that you're something less than that. Don't let them. Good luck. We're gonna need it.